Hi, I'm Andy Walker, one of the producers at Loop. And today I'm gonna to go over the virtual instruments that come with Logic so that you can get started on your productions quickly. This won't be all encompassing of every virtual instrument and I won't go deep into the settings, but I just wanna go through the ones that really will get the most bang for your buck when you're first getting started and you can immediately dive into recording. So let's get started. When you're looking at your range window, we'll start with the EXS24, the sampler. The sampler is by far one of the most powerful instruments that is in Logic. There's a lot of built-in samples and there's tons of third-party samples that you can get to load into EXS24. So, just starting out, as you can see, I have a lot of custom samples that I've loaded in, but you can go down to see Factory and GarageBand. So this is where you wanna load in, let's say an acoustic piano. You will load in all your different piano sounds. So if you're using Logic for the first time, this is where you'll get a lot of your different piano sounds. So you can have a grand piano. There's also Steinway grand piano. This is also where there's some guitars, orchestra instruments. There's a lot of great things like the Celeste. And just a quick thing, there's some cool effects you can do in here as well. You can add cutoff. You can add drive. You can add resonance. You can even adjust your ADSR, your attack, decay, sustain, release here. So you can create some cool sounds very quickly. So that's the EXS24, the sampler. Very powerful, and you'll have tons of different options to work with uh, to get started. Next, we'll show you the Logic Drummer. This is a really cool feature that's been upgraded very often in there. So we'll here go to New Track, and then select Drummer. And what's really cool is you have different options like rock, alternative, songwriter. So we'll do this, and to really make the most of it, make sure you select Open Library. So when you hit Open Library, on the left, you actually have different people that they have different sounds. So we have Nikki that does indie disco, Aiden that does indie pop. So we'll do the indie pop drummer. So what's cool is you can adjust the feel here. You can say I want more hi-hats. You can adjust the kick and snare. You can say I want more fills. Or instead of hats, you want toms. So you can very quickly adjust and choose what type of groove you want. So here you can get, you can go crazy, bring it down here, bring it soft. And so what's cool is you can go here and you can just copy it over, which is option drag, and then create a new section that's different. So let's say I want this section to have uh, symbols on it. So it does this tom groove. So just a reminder, it's option drag to copy over a new section. Command alt is up here. And you can cut it. But what's cool is it automatically adds a fill to the end of what you're working on. So you can cut it short. Notice it adds a fill there at the very end. This is really useful when you're making tracks. And what's cool too is you go to the drum kit and you can choose different kick sounds, different snare sounds. And even on the snare you can choose, I want to dampen this, adjust the gain, tune it down. And so you have limitless options here within Logic of what you can do with the drum kit. Next, we're going to cover ES2, which is a very, very powerful synthesizer. So here, you go to add a new track, instrument, and we'll choose ES2. And ES2, when you first open it, it does look a little overwhelming. And so if you're using Logic for the first time, just go with the presets, because the presets are fantastic. There's tons of really cool little synth basses, synth leads, and then of course, everyone's favorite, synth pads. And it, just the very quickly, the where cutoff is, is in this circle here, resonance, and there's some FM modulation stuff you can do, which is pretty cool. And then of course you have different sounds, different waveforms here. So that's just a basic high level overview. 
ADSR down here. It's a really in-depth synth. But if you're just getting started out, there's tons of great presets to start with. Let's just do one more. Again, tons of really cool stuff that you can make. Next, we'll look at the retro synth, which I will admit is a little bit less overwhelming. The retro synth was added in uh, some recent upgrades of Logic and it's really cool. It's very basic, but it's very deep sounding. So you have analog, which is very similar to what you get from like a Moog sound. And so you can really have the different oscillators mix between the two. You can adjust your different low pass filter, band pass, have the envelope, add chorus. And that's just for this. And there's this, a sync, which is a diff different sound. And a wa wave table, which has some cool stuff. And of course, FM, which is like a classic DX7 sound. And of course, like always, there's tons of great presets to get started with. So I always love if you're just getting started out with a synth, grabbing some presets and just playing around. and seeing what you can come up with. Lots of cool stuff in this synth. Next, and again, as I said, talking about overwhelming, this will look a little overwhelming, but it's fantastic. And it has a great, great library, it's Alchemy. Alchemy is Logic's closest thing to the really popular Omnisphere. It's sample-based, it has lots, the library is fantastic, so you really don't even have to go into sound design if you don't want to. There's tons of great you know, brass, leads, so you can, Filter by genre. I mean, that leads on a thousand worship songs right there. So just, you know, within seconds, I was able to get a lead that I could use on a, on a production or a Sunday morning. So Alchemy is a great synth. Definitely take advantage of the library. The library is very of different subcategories, genres, timbres. And if you really want to get too advanced, it's, it's all there. Um, there's tons of tutorials in depth on Alchemy, but again, browsing here, lots of great stuff that you could immediately start using on productions. Next is the Vintage Organ. The Vintage Organ, I think, is one of the most powerful things that Logic has to offer because it just sounds so good and so real. You have down here, you know, you have your that. You have different into drive all your draw bars here. And of course, rotor cabinet here, tons of options. So you can choose one more on the drum, the horn, even choose stereo width. You have the cabinet off. You could type, do the type of cabinet. Single. So lots of options there. And you can even say, I want the, uh, the motor control to be mod wheel or uh, what's really popular is the sustain pedal. So you can do the motor control down here with the sustain pedal. And then lots of options, controlling the key on click, percussion. And then of course you have effects, reverb, EQ, distortion, um, lots of different options. Gets, you really get nasty. And then there's tons of expert options. So again, like I said, if you're just getting started with something, the presets sound fantastic. All right, next we have Studio Strings, which was just added recently with Logic and sounds fantastic if you're trying to get some real sounding strings. You can have violins, disco strings, small section. You can even choose all the different articulations, so. Of course, there's cutoff, resonance, all these different things. So lots of different options, including individual. If you want to add strings to your production, you have lots of different options of articulations and strings that'll just sound great on your productions. And last but not least, of what I think are the most useful uh, are the vintage electric piano. This is a great road sound. And you have lots of options from EQ to drive with different options here. And then tons. You have Wurlitzer, 
you have the suitcase mark four mark one lots of options you can even do tremolo which here is whether you want which is by a hertz or if you want to sync it to your tempo you make it stereo make it not stereo so you can really get crazy with it chorus here and then again there's details where you can control how much time bell you want decay and release warmth if you want to stretch the tuning on either side to make it really sound um, old school and so there you go those are my favorite uh, plugins that come with logic that you can immediately start getting pro sounds out of so i i encourage you to just boot one of them up load some presets and just start playing around with it you'll be amazed at how quickly you can start getting some great sounds in your productions